Hi everyone, it's been a little while since I've done an analysis clip and that's pretty obviously because I haven't had that much coming in analysis wise from all my viewers. Most of the analysis series have been viewers clips and obviously everyone's been driving less so it's been a little while but we've got one for you today and it's an interesting one. It's two motorcycles and they know each other and I just hope they're still friends after this. Before we look at this in a little more detail, I'd like to say a big, big thanks to all my viewers who do keep sending the clips in. Although there's been a little delay between one analysis episode and this one, honestly the channel has become more viewer orientated over the last few months and for me that's all for the better because we get to see a bigger variety of clips. So please do keep sending these clips in. Now let's get into a little bit more finer detail of exactly what went on because you may have missed it originally because it sort of happened so quick so let's have a little quick look to see what happened. The road that we're on is pretty residential and these traffic calming measures that we see are actually pretty new because they don't actually show on Google Maps. You can see the car in the distance that has come through on the opposite side of the road and the first motorcyclist has slowed down to give way. Straight from the off, unfortunately, this clip is a classic clip for a lack of planning. If you just have a quick look at when the actual motorcyclist started to brake, you see that nothing was planned and it was all last moment and this was the main reason for the problems and the actual collision but there were a few signs and sort of like triggers if you like that this motorcycle could have picked up on so just quickly go over them and see whether you picked up on them first things first the motorbike is traveling way too close behind his buddy but there are road narrowing signs Apart from seeing slow on the road, you can already see the traffic calming measures and a roundabout sign. And just think for a little second, where there's one traffic calming measure, there's usually a second one, isn't there? And even when his buddy's brake light came on, he did very little to stop himself eating the tarmac. For me, the inexperience of this motorcyclist was evident in the clip. And if we have a little look towards the end, we can see, unfortunately, when his bike's on the floor, that he is displaying L-plates. Now, I've had this discussion with many people many times in my comments on other clips and I think the CBT that motorcyclists have to do to first get on the road isn't sufficient. I understand that it's sufficient for some people but I just think that the day or so training and then being allowed out on the road doesn't give people enough experience. I also understand that when people do go on these CBTs they get taught all the relevant and correct stuff but how much of that they actually take in and apply to their riding sometimes can be very little. If we have a little look at the clip at the end again you can also see that this motorcyclist is wearing trainers so he was quite lucky that he didn't get more serious injuries when he unfortunately hit his mate. Another big slice of luck as well that you may have not picked up on was exactly how close the car coming in the opposite direction was when our cyclist or motorcyclist came off it was a good job he actually came off to the left hand side because if he'd come off in the other direction you have a little look on how close the car was that was passing so planning is an integral part of any road use whether you're on a push bike whether you're on a motorcycle whether you're in a car or a lorry planning for me is everything people often get locked on to what they fear the most maybe that vehicle in front is the biggest thing that sort of like triggers people just to focus on that and nothing else they don't take in the surroundings enough 
try not to get locked on to that particular problem and try and do some scanning round and scan at least 10 seconds up the road then these incidents are less likely to happen I hope people can learn a little bit from every single clip that I put out but these analysis series or the clips that I show are particularly good for that reason I think so don't forget please keep sending them in any little bit that you've got on your driving send it to us and hopefully you can get a get your clip on the on the channel big thanks as always take care see you all soon